working with athletes is something that really gives you a lot of perspective on what they go through and the experiences they have on a day in and day out aspect as well as long term how they're trying to build their careers. So naturally when the PTPA came about it just made a logical extension of working with players on a broader level helping them improve their lives both on and off the court. This is something new. This is something new that hasn't been done in tennis before. We have a lot of precedent that comes from other sports, you know, basketball, football. We've seen the growth. We've seen the positivity in terms of the players' um, advocacy. So I think it's just something that's been kind of missing. And for players, they're going to start seeing the benefits of how this is going to grow them, not individually, but also the sport. And long term, it's going to leave a long-lasting impression that's going to really yield benefits to, to everyone long after they're done playing, but their gen future generations. And I think every player always looks at it as an opportunity. How how can I give back to the game? Well, this is a chance for you to take a stance that's going to make some positive impacts towards the sport. The biggest thing that we want players to know about the importance of the PTPA and the Winners Alliance um, partnership is the sense that the PTPA is here to advocate for them both helping them understand their plight as athletes. It's very important. There's a lot of things that they go through, the nuances of being a professional athlete. It's, it's a unique experience, so we want to understand that. We want to help them uh, you know, articulate that, I guess, to the, to the sport, and how can we really create additional opportunities for them to enhance their brand, enhance the sport, and that's where these group licensing and things like that have been done in other sports. It really just applies, and it's applying those principles into tennis, and uh, we're going to see the growth of the game, um, not just for players individually, but players as a whole and as a collective. One thing that we want the brands to understand, this is a unique time in the sport of tennis. It's a hugely global, globally popular sport. I think we're seeing that there's a lot of interest, there's a new wave and um, of demographics that are looking at tennis, and there's a new crop of superstars and we want those players and the brands to understand that this is an opportunity for you to enter this market essentially through a unique avenue that hasn't been done in tennis if it's you know video games and trading cards and such things like that these are things that are ultimately going to drive the sport and move the whole pendulum upwards and that's what we're looking at a positive way to impact the sport help increase viewership grow the sport and ultimately help the players yeah, my experience with athletes, you know, it's been very unique. Obviously, basketball players first, and now then most recently tennis. You really understand the plight of an athlete. Um, you know, for me, it was something looking at the plight of a basketball player compared to that of a tennis. Every athlete needs a team around them. In basketball, you're fortunate enough to have a team that you kind of go into with a coach, a whole process that handles everything. In tennis, you have to provide that ecosystem around them. So for me, it was something that just made a logical sense to help an athlete. But how can we help athletes on a broader larger, more macro level. And this was a platform with the PTPA that was just naturally something that was necessary in the market. And I think for players, they're gonna see the growth of the game and ultimately it's gonna, those benefits are gonna to inert to the players.